cannot think about our lives probably without internet. Have you ever wondered that prior to the advent of the internet, it was expensive to make things public and cheap to keep things private. Now with the advent of the internet, now it's been, the situation is reversed. It's now expensive to make things cheap to make things public and expensive to keep them private. And today, we are going to deliberate on the twin challenges of security and privacy. Security and privacy, on a lighter side, reminds me of a situation wherein, on a winter evening, late evening, a son comes back to his house and the father is extremely angry. Where have been? Where have you been? This late. The son quietly replies, Dad, I've been in my friend's house. Friend's house? So late? Have you seen the time? I'm sure you have been somewhere else. Let me search you. The son wonders. Search? Okay. The son was wearing a jacket. The father somehow frisks the jacket and finds a packet of cigarettes. Another packet, on another pocket, he finds a, so a diary. He has the phone numbers of certain girls. Hey, where have you been? You have been in some these obnoxious things, doing obnoxious things. The son says, Dad, I'm sorry, but I'm wearing your jacket only. So, probably this is the one where in are security and privacy, where the twin challenges we are going to meet. But, of course, on a different note. To the first welcome address for this, let me welcome on stage Anupam Agarwal, the chair for Indian Society Kolkata chapter, and Mr. Partha Sengupta, the anchor for DSCI Kolkata. May I welcome on stage Mr. Anupam Agarwal and Mr. Partha Sengupta. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. In the panoramic view of the world, life is as simple as thought. But these are the moments when we stop, relax, see what we have done in the past, and then move ahead with renewed vigor and enthusiasm. Is it audible now? Yeah. So, what is in it for you today? That is the primary question. So, Partha, we have asked a lot of people to come here. So, do you think uh, civil society is represented here? Yeah, uh, they, there are people who are there from, you know, for, to address this issue. And from us, like Data Security Council of India, Vinayak is there who is going to give a light on this topic and he is going to address those ideas. Okay. And uh, we require a lot of government initiatives are there for uh, e-governance projects. So, do you think government is represented in this forum today? Yeah, of course. Suparno is there who is, uh, who is going to address this issue for us. Okay. And apart from that, what we have in the panel discussions, if you can throw a light on that. Okay. We are uh, also going to talk about, there are two, two three important areas. Like how, uh, you know, that this vendor perspective is going to shape up and all. Okay. So for that, we have got Cisco is there. Okay. For, uh, you know, Koshik Nath from Cisco will be representing the vendor perspective. And I believe we have also got uh, the, from Internet Society, we have right. got Raj is there from Internet Society. And uh, for panel discussion, we have got two different panel discussion where we are going to address these issues like privacy and security concerns. And they are going to bring there from different part of the community and all, someone from academic, someone from corporate, someone from, you know, that uh, law agency, someone from police. And so they are going to bring different perspective to this security and privacy area. So this is all, gentlemen and ladies present here. We have a multi-stakeholder model, wherein from different perspectives of life we have people, and they will share your their thoughts on uh, privacy and security as a subject. So thank you, everyone, for being here, and let us start. Thank you so much. Thank you.
for the keynote first keynote address i'll be welcoming a person who has been the regional director of the asia pacific regional bureau of the internet society he also oversees projects initiatives and act activities across the internet society's functional and programmatic areas in the asia and pacific region including public policy capacity building and internet standards and technology prior to joining the internet society he played founding and leading roles in several technology and private equity investment firms and still maintains a varied business interests in his professional capacity he has consulted on communication and power infrastructure project management and business strategy for medium to large scale organizations ladies and gentlemen please welcome on stage for the keynote address mr rajneesh singh